Sarah, I have not told you what we're going to talk about today because I didn't know if you were going to tell me no. Oh <laughs> no. What is it? Did you just say no? I said, oh no. Oh no. Okay. Good. I, I know we haven't made a video in quite a while, guys. We pretty much took a month off. <laughs> I needed a break and uh, it's always good to get back though. I feel rejuvenated and revitalized. I didn't want to make a video again entitled how I was uh, losing my mind. <laughs> so I thought I would just instead just take a break and then come back. <laughs> I've made like three or four of those. Those were always your favorite videos of mine though, Sarah. They were? No. So we've told everybody before that we did not have a first kiss wedding. Do you remember that video? Yeah. That was like three years ago now. <laughs> that video has like 200,000 views, okay? So today <laughs> I wanted to try and get another 200,000 views. Oh no. No, I'm, I'm kidding. What I am not expecting it. We haven't talked about this in <laughs> a long, long time, but I wanted to talk about what your experience was having your first kiss. Oh, okay. Is that I, weird? I had no idea where this was headed. This is G-rated. Oh, look, I, I didn't Please. think anything bad. I just didn't know what it was going to be. Well, we be. are laying in our Helix mattress. Yes, we are. But no, I wanted to talk about our first kiss. And I'm not talking about like going into great detail or anything, <laughs> but just what were kind of your expectations? Like when you have your first kiss, there's definitely a before kiss and after kiss. <laughs> It's not like yeah. you, and it sounds dumb, but in my mind, I felt, I just felt different. Did you feel different? I definitely yeah. felt. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Well, well, I'm curious. I actually don't know if we've ever really just actually talked about this before. I don't, I don't think so either. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really curious. But first, our cozy backdrop is brought to you by and sponsored by Helix. A lot of you out there since they've been sponsoring have actually gotten a Helix mattress through our link helixsleep.com slash Jordan Taylor. And you have absolutely loved it. And it's been so encouraging to us that this sponsorship is going well. <laughs> so happy with their with their mattresses. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. it's been great overwhelming. Feedback. Great feedback. Great. The great thing about Helix is that they have a sleep quiz, which if you haven't done already, okay, get on it right now. I've talked about this before, but you have to do it. It is so much fun. Their questions are curated specifically to figure out exactly what mattress type of theirs that is gonna be the absolute perfect one for you. I personally am a, uh, a regretful stomach sleeper. It is not a good thing. It's not good for your neck, I'll be honest with you. It's the only way I can go to sleep though. <laughs> but with all that information, Helix gave us the Helix Sunset Lux mattress and it has been a dream. It looks like we're on a cloud. It feels like we're on a cloud. It, it does. The mattress ships free right to your door and it comes in this really fun plastic you can unravel and then the, the mattress kind of expands. It's a very, actually it's a fun experience. Yeah. We love extra soft mattresses and so we actually put on top of their softest mattress, the mattress topper that is, I mean. Cloud level. Cloud level. So whether you like rock hard, marshmallowy, they got it all. <laughs> I used to think that I liked hard mattresses until Helix told me I actually liked soft mattresses and now I love this soft mattress. If you want to experience the bliss, go to helixsleep.com slash Jordan Taylor where you're going to get up to $200 off your mattress and two free pillows. Yeah. That's what we're using now. Seriously guys, when you support our sponsor Helix, you are 100% supporting us and what we do and our ability to make videos. So. Thank you so much for everybody who's taken their sleep quiz. There's a hundred night sleep trial. So if you're a little, you know, not sure about buying a mattress online, there's no worries whatsoever. If you don't absolutely love it, don't take it back. No questions. That's helixsleep.com slash Jordan Taylor for $200 off your mattress and two free pillows. Okay. So I feel like my experience and your experience was very different about the first kiss. Also, we should preface this by saying Sarah that um, we hadn't kissed anybody before. I don't know if we've ever said that before, but I was Sarah's first kiss and she was mine. Yeah. So we didn't have a first kiss wedding, but we were each other's first kiss. Yeah. An only kiss. Yes. Yes. A one and only. As far as we know. <laughs> what? <laughs> How would we not know that? What do you mean? I'm just saying, we don't, I don't know. I don't know what you do. It's not like I see you 24 seven because we both work from home. It's not like that's helixsleep.com slash Jordan Taylor. It's not like that makes us be able to do this for a living. 
If you were not joking, we'd have some <laughs> real problems. Okay, joking aside, first kisses, okay, with each other. And so we both had the same first kiss experience with each other. So Sarah, what was it like? I, the floor is yours. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> well, okay, let's this. talk about this. What was it like? <laughs> why are you so nervous? <laughs> I don't know why. Um, Like, okay, when you thought as a child, wow, what's my first kiss going to be like? Was that even a thought, number one? Yes. Okay. I feel like that's like a thought for at least girls. That's something we think about. Do, no. do guys think about that? Oh, night and day um so my question to you is when you <laughs> consider that memory now we're getting somewhere and <laughs> your and your memory of what it was like were they comparable were they even close you know it's funny because it's it's different but it's the same i don't know if i it, was it different than i expected maybe mm -hmm. but I think in my mind, you think your first kiss is going to be kind of like a movie. That's like your only experience, I guess, with like knowing what a first kiss is even going to yeah. be like. And then, but that is like looking from the outside in. But when it's you, you're on the inside of that situation. It's the inside and in. And so even if, even like no matter what you experience, like expect, I think the experience is still going to be slightly different. If that makes sense. Yeah. So basically what it boils down to for both of us is, well, I can't speak for you, but <laughs> for me it was, I think it, honestly, I, I said that guys think about what the first kiss is going to be like. Here's the thing. I, it's not like I sat there and dwelled on it. It was just kind of this abstraction of this is what it will feel like. Not like this is the exact situation and, and everything like that. I, I, I think that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Because I feel like I was thinking of it as the opposite. I was thinking of it, of it as this like whole experience. Hmm. And so when it was like, oh, this is what it feels like. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's not even something that I was like I, thinking right. about, I guess. I oh, guess that's interesting. I was just thinking about like the closeness with the person, mm -hmm. like how that would feel like being that close with somebody mm -hmm. to do uh, something like that. That's what I think that's more of like what I was thinking about, which That's a pretty good thought. Any I don't know. Now, here's the next question that I wanted to ask you. Okay. Was there cuz for me there was definitely a BK and AK before kiss after kiss was there that for you did you feel like kind of a different person afterwards or like you you went through something and now you're on the other side of it and and now you can kind of see your past differently in some that sounds really like weird i guess yes and no that's very interesting that you like really have a defining I think oh, for yeah. me, it was it was interesting because obviously we knew like it was coming. This wasn't lot like a whim decision yeah, yeah, yeah. that we're just like, oh, we're just going <laughs> to kiss now. Right. But it still wasn't, it still was like an in the moment whim when it happened, exactly when it happened. Yeah. And so I left going, oh, wow, that just happened. Like this whole built up thing. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I'm on the other side of that now. Yeah. So I guess that, yeah, is that kind of what you mean? Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm pretty much talking about. And I think, I, I mean, obviously the older you get and you haven't kissed someone, you build that up and you build it up and you build it up. It comes, becomes more of like a thing in your mind. Like, oh, this is like, I don't yeah. know, something you start like wondering about, like mm -hmm. who, when, where, <laughs> all the things. So then when it finally does happen, you're like, oh. And I think that in that moment too, I was like, oh, so that just <laughs> happened. I guess. Yeah, it was definitely a lot different than I thought. And this is, this is going to sound really weird, but when you've never kissed anybody before, it's, you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> you don't know. And, and thinking back now to our first kiss versus when we kiss now, it, it was like, your it it was like your first 
your first class in math versus now you've graduated as a you know college <laughs> yeah it was like yeah. first grader versus now it, um, and that even comes, I'm not even just talking about the mechanics of kissing. I'm talking about um, kind of even just like emotionally what it means and what... Uh, <laughs> A lot of different. Yeah. Yeah, it's kissing like... It can be complicated. Right. Yeah. And it means like a lot... It means a lot of different things and a lot of different situations and scenarios, whereas... I don't know, before I just never really thought about it that way. I just thought of it as like kissing somebody. Now it's like, oh, okay, it's there's it, it's like an an array of different meanings for for that action and it's that's really interesting to me. It's kind of like almost the way this. to communicate. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I feel like I've just thought about this way too much. Maybe that's <laughs> what I'm coming across as. That's fine. No, no, this but... This is just thoughts in my mind. We've never actually... You're right. We've never talked about this. But, like, everything you're saying, I'm like, oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But I think another thing that I really think about where, like, you're saying, like, how I thought about it before and how I feel about it now, how I felt about it in that moment, is, like, how much weight does a first kiss have? Oh. Like, because I feel like... Well, how much did it have for you? Well, okay, so a lot of my friends, you know, we'd always talk about it, and then one by one, my friends were, like, going through their first kiss, mm -hmm. and so it was always this, like, weight on how important is the first kiss, right. because is it is it really not that big of a deal? Like, because, you know, half of us were like, oh, we want to, like, only kiss our husbands, and then the other, you know, part of us, like, I had friends who had multiple boyfriends through the years, and they were like, okay, well, which, do you kiss your boyfriend? Or, like, mm. do you wait till you get married? This only happens within Christian circles, just FYI. Yeah. Yeah, I would yeah it's very much that. But there was always this, like, conversation, like, oh, man, am I going to, like, wait to kiss my husband? Or does it matter? Like, am I... Right. All, the, all those thoughts, which some of you might be having. And I still kind of stick with it was important. Like, I'm, I'm really glad that I waited to mm -hmm. kiss just Jordan. We didn't wait till our wedding day, but like, right. we were pretty, you know, yeah. And we were pretty sure on like each yeah. other, I guess. I mean, if you can wait, that's great. But don't, if you have kissed somebody and I, I, I trust me, I just, I, <laughs> I understand the Christian mind. Yes. If you have kissed somebody and you sit here and you're regretting it because you guys broke up or something, okay, don't sweat it. It's you not the end of the world. On. Stop thinking about it. It's fine. Just live your life, okay? Things happen, whatever, okay? But don't run out there and just kiss anybody because I do, yeah. now that, you know, I've been through the whole thing, I, it's really special that we, like, yeah. got, uh, like, had our first kiss together. But that doesn't mean that somebody out there who has already kissed somebody isn't going to have that same specialness with the person that they're going to be with forever. No. That's right. what I'm trying to say. Don't beat yourself up, okay? Yeah. It, uh, whatever kind of embarrassing but there is a time in a girl's life when she's been you know she's got a little little long without kissing somebody there is like i don't know if it's hormones or what but you're like you know what it's time for this to be over <laughs> like and i definitely went through that i didn't have like boyfriends but i i dated people like i went out and i was like you know this could be a thing right i can kiss somebody if i wanted to i was like this needs to happen <laughs> and i'm really glad that i did not go through with it though i think that is more mm -hmm. of what i'm speaking to when not you, like just some willy-nilly yeah when you decide gotcha. when you hit that wall where you're like okay i need this first kiss thing to be over i need to lift the weight here don't do it that way <laughs> yeah. don't do it that way don't make that a rash decision no so weird thing is also me and sarah don't actually have like an anniversary of when we started dating i think that's a thing people like keep up with right we don't yeah because we did it there wasn't an actual set date of this is when i asked you to be my girlfriend we kind of just had this progression of oh we're friends now we're doing stuff alone together now just kind of morphed oh, now we're holding hands okay so we're like <laughs> we're dating we're like spending literally all day long with each other constantly at school uh that was kind of the progression and then 
And we had like talked about it and stuff like yeah. that. And it was like, okay, we're together. But and then- And we did have a first date, but honestly it wasn't that notable. Yeah. Jordan didn't have a very good time. Well, I think we've that's, already talked about that, but if we story. haven't, that's another story for another <laughs> day. <laughs> uh, anyways, so we kind of mark our like dating anniversary as the first day that we kissed. What's funny is that we honestly hold to celebrating that anniversary almost more than our wedding anniversary. <laughs> yeah, I know that's We've been celebrating stupid. it longer, so it's yeah, like that's our true. important anniversary. That's true. It's coming up. It is. Yeah, it's coming up soon. I can't remember the exact date. It's in February though. So, like, it's uh, the ninth. Yes! <laughs> I pulled that one out of the bag. Wow. I was like wow. praying to God. I was like 15th. No, wow. that's Valentine's Day, 9th, 6th. Yeah, it's not Valentine's okay. Day. Okay, all right, all right. Don't you think we should end this video with a kiss? Oh yeah, I forgot. Wow, well, that was our first kiss. Right then, we, were, we lied this whole video. <laughs> Today is uh, January 28th. We're not even married. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see ya. <laughs> Bye.